Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, first and foremost, sorry that we've been so bad about filming and uploading. Um, we finally found a house, so we have put in a small down payment on that and that should be moving forward. It's new construction, so we won't be moving in anytime soon, but within the next few months, it will be happening. Nikki did start his new job and then out of nowhere, there was coronavirus. And um, now we're on, a, I would call it by choice self-isolation because we are currently choosing to, but soon enough our area probably will be on mandatory isolation. So we figured what is a <laughs> what a better time to film as much as we possibly can and start getting content out there for you guys because I know a lot of you are stuck at home and um, you're, you're probably looking for things to watch and to do and hopefully some of our videos can help you uh, not be bored because I've been watching a whole lot of YouTube myself through this time. So just on a totally separate note and a serious note, I hope everybody is staying as healthy and safe as possible. I hope they're taking that their, um, their limited interaction seriously because this is an incredibly serious, um, unprecedented in our time kind of pandemic. So um, just be as precautious and also aware of other people. Even if you don't think that you're sick or you don't think you're susceptible to being sick, you might be carrying it. And there are people out there with compromised immune systems that may be in danger um, if you do come in contact with them. So just be very aware of other people and and um, yeah, just try and love each other and, and support each other as much as possible in this time. So uh, in a not attempt to sound preachy, just a, like a love your fellow person type type feeling. But yeah, okay, anyway, so uh, now that we've done the serious stuff, I am, uh, since we're in isolation, wearing my pajamas today. They're not technically pajamas. I don't really use pajamas, but this is what I slept in last night. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be very real with you guys. This is, not <laughs> who am I trying to impress besides the YouTube community? So I have on my Figment Spirit jersey and here we go. It was a Boxy Lux this month. If you guys don't know, Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription service that focuses on beauty related products. Um, we did price lock ourselves in when they upped their prices a couple months back. So we have a year subscription currently. And the only time we are charged is on months like the Box Boxy Lux. Uh, we're charged an extra $29.99 to receive a very large box. So I don't know anything about it. I really have been like crazy stressed just with like a bunch of other stuff. Ipsy, BoxyCharm, FabFitFun, I have them all this month and I didn't really check anything as the emails were coming through. So I'm literally going into this completely blind. So we'll see what I ended up getting. Um, I don't even really think that I've seen a lot of stuff on Instagram and a lot of times I kind of know some of what I might be getting. And I think there's like one or two things that I remember seeing, but I don't really know what they were. Okay, so they did actually put in the um, pricing list for the products that we received, which I appreciate for the last boxy charm. They had sent it in an email and I really didn't like that because I like to tally up the totals for you guys. And I didn't have that here. So um, looks like it's pretty edgy is the theme this month. And I like it with the industrial looking like concrete all smashed up. I think that's kind of a cool aesthetic. So we shall see. Okay, so I, I actually lie. I do remember as I open the box, I always remember like, oh yeah, no, I did see that. So I do remember they were, this is the first month that they've implemented their own products. So I got a boxy charm palette. And if I recall, this is the one that I was hoping I was gonna get. Oh, yeah, this is really pretty. Now, once again, I don't know anything about the product itself because um, I've never obviously used anything that was boxy charm brand in terms of the makeup, but they have a lot of gorgeous like, just a lot of really gorgeous things to work with here. You've got a, a really nice, what I would call like a corner color. You've got this white that you can use for highlighting or blending. You've got a couple nice kind of neutral shades to use for blending. And then you've got these really gorgeous pigmented shimmers. You've got the blue, a purple, a pink, a yellow. Um, so there's a lot to work with in this palette and it's a really good size too. I mean, that's a big pan. So I'm excited to play with this. Um, I'm thinking, I like with the Boxy Lux, I like doing like a full face, kind of using as many of the products as I can. So I think we're probably gonna try and do a video with that. So I'm not gonna swatch this, but I'm definitely excited about this particular um, product in the box. I don't know what this is. I think it's a face cleanser. Do you see that? Um, it's interesting. I definitely would never buy this myself. So that, I mean, that's both a good and a bad thing, I guess but it is a PMD clean smart facial cleansing device. It has sonic low technology, the beauty of silicone, customizable for different skin types. It helps uh, with anti-aging based on the, the vibrations of the massages that gets you. And then apparently it's cordless as well. Um, so yeah, it's battery operated. And yeah, I'm gonna take this out of the box because I wanna see what it looks like. 
I would assume this is probably one of the pricier products in it. There are actually not a ton of products in this one. Normally I feel like we get like 10 to 15 and I'm not seeing like more than like eight, eight or nine. So there's not a ton that we're working with here, but I would, I would guess that this is actually a really, ooh, I guess that's a stand. Oh yeah, it looks like, like a little stand. It is a little stand, you can't see it. Maybe I can try and, there's my table. It's a stand. So that's pretty neat. I love the color, actually, the dark navy blue with the gold bottom. I think that's super cute. Um, and they did give us a battery. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be one that lasts for like two tries before it, it uh, I've never seen a pink battery before, but apparently the pink tax has made its way even to batteries, so. Yay. Okay, yeah, so you turn it. And then, I'm not gonna lie, screwing back on the bottom is very complicated. It should not be this complicated, but I am struggling hardcore with this thing. Ah, there we go, okay. So yeah, so it looks like, it looks like honestly, you've got kind of two sides. You've got like these, oh, it's, it's like really going, man. I don't, I just haven't, I've just put my makeup on, so I don't wanna do that, but. Oh, it's got, it has like, Different patterns. Okay, that's actually really cool. All right, so we have, it's been a hot minute since we've done a skincare video. So next time we do a skincare video, I'm gonna use this because this thing is really, really freaking cool, actually. Um, like I said, I would never buy it for myself, but now that I've gotten it, I'm like, that's freaking neat. Okay, so we got another QMS uh, lip line corrector. I believe we got this in the Boxy Charm Luxe, the Boxy Luxe from December. Um, and this product, I remember I was kind of shocked about it because it's like a $200 product. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I have used I have used it, the one that I got before. Um, I do like it, but I'm not a smoker. I'm not really battling anti-aging stuff right now, especially in the lip area. And then just seeing my mom, how she's aged, she didn't really get lip lines. So I'm assuming I probably won't have them too bad either. So I don't know quite if I need two of them. I may, I may give it away, I may try and like, even sell it to somebody. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one, but um, but we will we will see. Cause it's not a bad product. It's just that I don't know if I necessarily need it. So the next thing that I got is this blush. I don't know. Oh, from Elizabeth Mott. Okay, so it's really cute packaging. That's what the little box looks like. And then the blush color is gorgeous, especially going into springtime. It is like a very neutral peach color. It is definitely something that I probably would wear like pretty consistently. So I'm excited about that one. Um, I've not used a lot of Elizabeth Mott stuff, but I've not heard bad things about him. So I'm pretty excited to test that one out. Now we've got Sol de Janeiro, which I've used and gotten a couple different products from them before. They gave us two minis instead of one big one this time. So interesting. Um, they gave us the Coco Cabana Cream and the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And if I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah, so the Coco Cabana is a 72 hour moisture magnet oil and water body cream. And the Bum Bum cream is infused with all powerful uh, Garana extract. So they are both body creams. I'm not a huge cream person. So like the products are really good and they are some of the best creams out there, but I just don't normally use like body lotion and stuff like that. So it's not necessarily a great gift for me. So far, honestly, I'm kind of most excited about the face cleaner that looks like it may or may not be some sort of an adult toy. And then the the Boxy Charm eyeshadow palette because that is pretty cool. Um, and then we've got three more things in here. The first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is I've actually received one of these before from Boxy Charm and I really like it. It is a Spongella sponge, which is like a body wash loofah that with the the, product built into it. So basically you get a nice little scrubbing pad and you get the body wash in it. And they last for a pretty decent amount of time. I have a couple of them um, and I really like them because they do a good job like exfoliating your skin and, and kind of getting in there and working into like cellulite and stuff like that. So I'm a big fan of it. I really like to use them, especially after I shave um, to kind of get like any dead skin or excess skin off. Um, so that's a nice little thing. I don't think these are very pricey, so that's not really an expensive product. I think they're probably like $16 or something like that. And then I did get a NARS lip color. We'll see what color, what shade it is. It's called London Calling. Hopefully it's a more neutral one because NARS is such an expensive brand that uh, it's not bold, but it's dark. So I probably won't wear it very often, but it is pretty. It's a really pretty color. I'm gonna actually swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh, it is very liquidy. It's, I have a couple minis that I've received in like Ulta Free Gifts that are like their vibrant red, red one, which is, it's a gorgeous red shade, but it like, it literally like drips everywhere. Like I've ruined a pair of pants because they dripped on it when I was trying to put it on and I was like, how did that happen? It's a little bit wet, but this is what the color looks like. So it's a really pretty dark mauve color. 
I probably won't wear it regularly, but I think it'll be a nice color to mix with maybe a lighter shade, even like kind of what I'm wearing today, maybe just to add a, like a little bit of darkness to it. So that's a really good one. I'm sure that's a pricey product because we all know that NARS is incredibly, um, incredibly aware of their value. And so they normally make pricey stuff. Oh, the puppy found us. She's, of course, she waited right until we filmed to come up here. All right, the last thing we got, I did look at this while we would pause the camera. It is a stainless steel straw set. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I am all for finding um, alternatives to, re uh, to plastic straws that we throw away. So I'm all for reusable straws. I personally hate the taste of metal straws. So I don't know if stainless steel is gonna be any different. Um, I've used, I think it was like maybe aluminum straws before. I'm not entirely sure. But um, these are like these really cool gold color. And then it does come with a little cleanser as well and a, a, like a little cleaning brush. And it came in this like nice little cleaning brush. And it came in this nice little pouch. I will say, oh, it's dirty. Oh, it's a lipstick. Oh, it's bad. Oh, that's bad. I ruined my case. Ruined my case, y'all. Anyway, what I was going to jump into is one of the things with the house, one of our biggest issues ter in terms of finding a space that would work for us is we are very, we were very aware of what we wanted. Um, we wanted a filming studio, obviously a room dedicated to that where we would keep my makeup as well. We wanted a place for Nikki to edit where we could also like hang out together. So if he's editing, I can sit there and watch TV with him or something. And we wanted a bar area. So um, because we know we're about to have the bar, actually having a nice set of reusable straws is not a bad thing, even if I'm not the one using it. When people come over and they're we're making drinks and stuff, this will be a nice thing to have. So it's not a bad set. It's just something that like, hopefully I don't mind them, but I just don't like the taste of metal straws for some reason. Like we've talked about getting bamboo straws and other stuff like that to try and like counteract me not liking it, but I don't know. So overall, it's one of the worst boxy luxes I've received, if I'm being honest, just because the number of products we got was a lot limited, a lot more limited. And like, I liked about probably 40% of what we got in it. And I can see the value in the other stuff that we got, but it's just not necessarily things that I need or wanted right now. So let's take a look at the pricing and figure it out. I believe they tell us that a minimum like $300 value is normally what we get with this. So running down the line, the QMS lip line corrector, which I told you guys was a $200 product is in fact a $200 product. So that alone right there is, should make the box worthwhile. It's not that it's not a good product. It's just that, like I said, I'm not sure I really need it, but whatever. Um, the Sol de Janeiro two creams together are $15. The Boxy Charm Hello Charmer palette is $39. That price probably is a little bit high because Boxy Charm has made a name for itself, but not in terms of making their own product. If I were to buy it, I probably wouldn't pay more than like $25 for it. But I do understand $39 is about the average price of a, pa a palette that size. So it's not unreasonable. It's just a little bit high in my opinion. Um, PMD, the Smart Facial Cleansing Device is $99. Truthfully, that's about average for those kind of devices. So I'm not surprised by that one. Uh, the NARS Lip Pigment is $25, which is actually a little bit cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. Um, the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks is $23. It's a little high in my opinion, but it's not necessarily unreasonable. The Spongella Body Wash Infused Buffer is $16. Um, and then the Bombshell Baker Gold Glitter Stainless Steel Straw Set is $21, which that's probably about average as well, which means our value of the box is $438. Um, all things said and done, we paid 50 for it. So it's definitely, we definitely got more out of it than what we paid. It, I would say just based on the face cleaner, the um, Spongella sponge and the eyeshadow palette, which I know I will be using, it is um, definitely worthwhile in terms of what we paid for it. I would never pay $438 for this box, but it's not a bad box. I feel like with subscription services, you kind of have hit and miss boxes, some that you really love, some that you really don't like. Um, this is kind of in the middle for me. So not a bad box, but not a great one in my opinion. Uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, then please give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the page. While we're all stuck at home and bored, uh, we might as well uh, become a little YouTube family. Uh, we're growing really fast, which I appreciate. We finally hit th over 300, we're at like 308 right now. So that's incredible. We really appreciate all your support and your love. We're so sorry that it's been so bad about uploading in 2020 so far. It's just been 
Like, there's no reason for excuses because it's totally been on us, but like, it's been a weird time and I just have not been mentally in it. And that's a big part of me. And so I'm apologizing and I'm going to actively make an effort to not do that and to be putting out more content for you guys. So yeah, so please subscribe to the page because we're gonna have some cool stuff coming at you. Yeah. All right, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.